Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I am super excited for this video today. This video will be in two parts. I'll upload one this week and one next week. Um, that should be the plan just because I don't really want this to be a super long video. We've got a lovely crochet tutorial, pocket shawl tutorial today but I don't want it to be too long so I thought I'd make it in two parts. So without further ado, I will get on to what you need. Um, I'll leave all the measurements and things of the pocket shawl in the description box down below. So if you want to go and check that out and get any more information about it, you can do there. So um, I have some Stylecraft Special Aran yarn. You will need five balls of this. Um, I will leave a link to this yarn down below. Um, I've got this nice duck egg blue and I've made it also in a grey. Um, if you want to go and see those you can go over to my Instagram which I will also leave in the description box down below. I'll leave anything that I mention in the description box down below. I've got um, a 5mm hook which is corresponding to the Aran yarn and also a pair of scissors to chop off my ends and you will need a darning needle to sew on the pockets and also sew on your ends at the very end. So without further ado we shall begin. Okay then so we're going to begin um, by making a slip knot and you can do this in whichever way that you prefer. And gently pull tight. Um, now it's quite a big project so we're going to actually chain 264 chains. So this can be quite confusing so if you want to um, place a stitch marker maybe every 10, even every 100. So 264 chains. If you want it a little bit shorter um, you can just chain any even number um, but 264 worked well for me. So begin your chain yarn over. Three. Um, make sure you're keeping your tension nice and moderate. Don't do it too tight, otherwise you'll struggle with your pattern. But don't do it too loose, because then you'll get um, a bit of a loopy pocket shawl. So because this is such a large number of chains, I'm actually going to do this off camera and then come back to you when I have finished my 264 chains. So pause the video here, work your 264 chains and I will meet you back when you have finished that. Okay then, so here is my super long chain of 264 and now we're ready to begin row number one. So this is a super easy row of um, treble crochets. So I'm working in UK terminology, in US this is a double crochet, in UK it's a treble crochet. So all you're going to do is skip your first three chains, so not the one on the hook, we don't count that one, but one, two and three. And working into the fourth chain from your hook you're going to work a treble crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And that chain three at the beginning will count as our first treble crochet. So you're going to work this all the way along. So yarn over into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. The next one, the same thing, working a treble. You should end up with a total of 262 trebles, I think, because your chain three counts as your first treble. So I'm going to leave you here once again. I'm working a foundation row of treble crochets, work this all the way along for row number one. Pause the video here and work trebles all the way along your row. Okay then, so I've just finished row number one. Apologies for the lighting, at the moment you get like one hour of good lighting and then um, it goes a bit shadowy, so apologies for that, but I do want to get this video filmed and made for you, um, so hopefully it's not too bad. 
So we've just completed row number one, which is our foundation row of all treble crochets. And now we're going to work in the back bar of the stitches. So I've done this in one um, previous video before in my headband video, um, but I will go through it nice and slowly for you all. So you're going to begin this row with a chain of three, which is going to count as your first treble crochet. When you turn your work over, you're going to skip this first stitch because your chain three is going to count as your first treble. And then you're going to find your back bar. So it's nothing to do with these loops on the front or your stitches, like usual. It's this little back bar here. And you're just going to work treble crochets into that. So yarn over, find that bar, insert your hook. It can be quite fiddly, like so and work a treble crochet and then moving on to the next one find this little back bar and work a treble crochet so you're going to find these back bars in every single stitch um, along for row number two until you get to your very last stitch when you're just going to work a normal treble crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and work that now and um, make sure you work this all the way along and I'll meet you back just before the end to show you what we're going to do for the last stitch. Okay then everybody I have just finished row number two Um, I'm just coming to the end of it so I've just got my chain three left which counted as our first treble and um, I'm actually just going to work a normal treble into this last stitch instead of working in the back bar just because it's a lot easier. Um, so just working a normal treble into the top of that chain three to complete row number two. So um, we're going to do this until we have five rows of treble crochets. We've already worked two rows so we need to work another three rows in the exact same way. So to begin each row, you're going to chain three, which is going to count as your first treble, turning your work over. You should now notice that by working in the back bar, you've got the little Vs sticking out, and that's just the stitch that's going to be created. So we're going to miss our first stitch because this chain three is going to count as our first treble. And then into every single stitch, um, we're going to work into the back bar like so. So finding these back bars we're going to work into those to make our nice little V pattern on the opposite side. So I'm actually going to leave you to do this um, until you have a total of five rounds of treble crochets. So working three more rounds in the exact same way and obviously finishing off by working a normal treble into that chain three at the very end. So you should end up with a total of five rows of treble crochets. Hello, sorry everybody, editing me here. I just wanted to quickly um, disclaim, so it's one row which is your foundation row of treble crochets and then another four rows on top of that which are the back bars, working in the back bars of the treble crochet. I hope that makes a little bit more sense, I just didn't want you to have too many rows um, or mess up or confuse the pattern. So hopefully that's a little bit more clearer. And I will meet you back when you have finished. So pause the video here, remember to work into the back bar of each stitch and I will meet you back when I have completed that. Okay then, so I've just um, completed this kind of stitch repeat and this is how yours should be looking. So this is the five rows of treble crochet and um, working in the back bars to get these nice little V um, shapes along your work. This is one side of your pocket square and then um, we're going to do kind of the main body bit and then the other side. So these are kind of the two edges of your pocket square um, in this nice kind of rib effect stitch. So now we're going to do one more row working in the back loops and um, we're actually going to work a row of double crochet. Again I'm working in UK terms so this is single crochet in US but double crochet in UK. So I've just finished off my row working a normal treble into my chain three and now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work over. We're going to work one normal double um, one normal 
um, double crochet in the first stitch just to secure that down. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And now we're ready to work in the back bar. So find your back bar. As I said, they can be a little bit tricky to get into, like so. And work a treble. Into the next stitch back bar. Work another double. And into the next one work another one so this is how that row is going to go super simple just working double crochets all the way along to the end of your row um, in the back bar loops only so go ahead and pause the video here work double crab double crochets all the way along in the back bar and I will meet you back when you finish that almost finished row number six I'm just going to work one final double crochet into that chain three like so to finish it off and now we're ready to move on to a few more interesting stitches so for row number seven you're going to chain three and turn your work now you're working into the stitches like usual now um, not working in the back bars, just working into the stitch like usual. And we're going to work the bead stitch. So I do actually have a video on this, but I will go through it nice and slowly for you. So this chain three is going to count as your first stitch. So you're going to skip this first um, stitch space, and then you're going to work into the second um, space that you have. You're going to work a treble crochet, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and now you're going to wrap um, some stitches around it so to do this what you're going to do is yarn over you're going to bring your hook behind the treble crochet yarn over and bring your hook in front and you're going to do that once more so yarn over bring your hook behind yarn over bring your hook in front you're then going to yarn over and pull through all of the stitches on your hook and there you've worked your first um, bead stitch. Don't worry, I will go through this again because it can be a little bit confusing. You're now going to skip the next stitch because um, this is kind of going to count as two stitches. So you're going to skip the next stitch and work into the stitch after that. So work a treble crochet like usual and then you're going to work some wrapped stitches. So yarn over, bring your hook behind the treble crochet, yarn over and bring your hook back to the front, yarn over, bring your hook behind the treble crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in front. Yarn over and pull through all of those stitches to finish off. So that's what you're going to do all the way along. So skip the next stitch, working a bead stitch into the next stitch. So I'm just going to show you a couple more times just in case you haven't got it. If you haven't got it yet, feel free to go ahead and rewind the video. But I'm just going to show you a couple more times now. So skipping the next stitch and working into this next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. There you've worked your treble. Now we're going to wrap some stitches. So yarn over, bring your hook behind the treble crochet, yarn over and bring it back forward. Yarn over, bring your hook behind the treble crochet, yarn over and bring it forward. Yarn over and pull through all of those stitches on your hook to complete. 
it will get a lot easier. Um, it's one of the stitches that is continuous throughout this piece. So as you um, become more familiar with it, it will become easier. I'm going to work that all the way along and I will meet you back um, to show you how to finish off your row number seven. So I've almost completed this row and um, I just have two stitch spaces left. So I'm going to skip this stitch just like we've done with every other one and into the last stitch I'm just going to work a treble crochet. So um, because of um, the number of chains that we did at the very beginning, you are going to begin and end every row with a treble crochet. Um, that just gives the edges a bit of a nicer, neater look um, and just straightens them up a bit. Obviously on the double crochet rows you'll start with a double crochet, but on the other rows you'll start with a treble. So we're now going to just work a row of double crochets. So we're on, this is five, six, seven. We're on row eight now. Um, this is our last row before the pattern repeat is just a row of double crochets. So all you're gonna do is chain one and turn your work. And then you're just going to work double crochets into every single stitch. So insert your hook. and work double crochets. So it will look a little bit different where you're going into because of the um, bead stitch we've done in the previous row but you still should be able to see every stitch that you're going to work into. So go ahead and pause the video and work double crochets all the way along your row for row number eight and I will meet you back when I've finished working that. So we're on to our final rows for this video because this is a pattern repeat um, that I'm going to show you now and then leave you to complete and then come back to you to finish off the pocket shawl. That's kind of the way the video is going to work. So this is a three row pattern repeat. We have one row which is trebles and chains, then one row which is the bead stitch and then one row which is double crochets. But don't worry, I will show you um, exactly what we're doing. So for the first row of the pattern repeat, we are going to begin by chaining four. So this is gonna count as one treble and one chain of one. So chain four, so one, two, three, which counts as your treble, and four which is your chain of one and turn your work. So I did actually have to change my ball of yarn which is why I've got these um, two tails there. You can change in whichever way that you prefer. So you're going to skip the stitch underneath the chain three because that's going to count as your stitch coming out and then you're actually going to skip the next stitch as well because that chain one is going to count as that stitch. So into the next stitch you're going to work a treble crochet, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, and yarn over pull through two. Then you're going to work a chain one, you're going to skip the next stitch, working into the next stitch a treble, and that is your stitch for the row. So chain one, skip the next stitch, working a treble, chain one, skip the next stitch, find the stitch after that, work a treble. And that is going to be what you do for the entire of um, this row. So this is row one of the pattern repeat you're going to chain four which counts as a treble and a chain one skipping these first two stitches then working a treble a chain one skipping the stitch a treble a chain one skipping the stitch all the way along and that's how you're going to begin every first row of your pattern repeat if that makes sense so i'm going to go ahead and finish this row and i will meet you back when i have completed that and i will show you row two of the pattern repeat
Okay then, I am back. Um, so I've just finished row number one, so it's the trebles and the chain one missing um, a stitch. I am at the end, I've just worked a treble crochet, but I'm not going to work a chain one and a miss a stitch. I've got one last stitch left to work, so I'm just going to work a normal treble um, into that stitch to finish off the row. So just for a quick recap, um, this is row number one of the three row repeat. You're going to begin your row with a chain of four, which counts as your treble and your first chain one. And then you skip a stitch, working a treble, a chain one, skipping a stitch, working a treble, a chain one, and so on and so on, all the way to the end of your row, where you should end up with one last stitch um, empty and you're just going to work a treble crochet into that stitch. So hopefully you can remember that. We're now ready to move on to the second row of the three row repeat which is actually just like this um, row, the bead stitch row, but we're just working into the trebles. So we're going to begin this row with a chain of three which is again going to count as your treble crochet. For this row we're going to work a bead stitch in every single treble crochet that you've got. So we're just leaving the chain spaces free and the stitches free but into every single one of our work trebles from the previous row we're going to work a bead stitch. So just in case you have forgotten, to work a bead stitch you're going to work a treble crochet, like so, and you're going to wrap some stitches. So yarn over, go behind your treble, yarn over, pull forward, yarn over, go behind your treble, yarn over, pull forward, yarn over, pull through all of those stitches, and there you've worked your bead stitch. Now we can work into the next treble, working a bead stitch, a treble crochet, yarn over behind, yarn over in front, yarn over behind, yarn over in front, yarn over, pull through all of them. As I said, you're just working into the treble crochets that you've done from the previous row, just skipping the chain one spaces. So go ahead and work that all the way along your row, pause the video here and I will meet you back um, at the end and show you how to finish off. So you should be able to see now your pattern starting to grow and starting to form a little bit. So I've just finished my bead stitch in this last treble and I just have my chain four left um, and I'm actually going to work a normal treble crochet into the top of this chain. I'm not going to work a bead stitch, I'm just going to work a normal treble to finish off my row. So I'm going to count up to the third chain and just work a treble crochet in the top of that to finish off row number two. So again, as a little bit of a recap, we started this row with a chain of three and then we started to work our bead stitches into every single treble crochet. So we're skipping the chain one spaces and just working into the trebles that we worked from the previous row. Um, our bead stitches are trebles with a few wrapped stitches around them. And then we finished our work off with a treble crochet in the um, top of that chain three that we worked at the beginning. So that is row number two of the three row repeat and now for row number three is just a simple row of double crochets. So chain one and turn your work over and for row number three we're just working double crochets. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're working into every single one of these stitches. They are a little bit different because they're bead stitches, but you still should be able to kind of see where you're going or where you're working into. Um, it's not too tricky to see. So you're going to go ahead and work that all the way around. And that is... Um, the final row of the three row repeat. So again just as a quick recap because I'm going to actually leave you now this is going to be the end of part one of the pocket shawl. 
you have to repeat this three row repeat six times so we've done it once you're going to repeat it five more times um, the first row is your trebles your chain one skipping a stitch treble chain one skipping a stitch um, your second row is the bead stitch into every single treble crochet and your third row is double crochets all the way along your row so that is the three row repeat if you do get lost or you do get confused don't forget to just rewind this video and watch the section that you need um, again if you don't know how to begin a row again rewind so we've already done one you're going to repeat this five more times um, so thank you all so much for watching this um, part one of the pocket shawl hope you enjoyed hope you found it helpful and um, leave me a like if you did and comment down below um, what gorgeous colours you're making your pocket shawl in and whether you're excited for part number two hopefully next week will be part number two it should be next week so keep an eye out also subscribe so you don't miss that video and you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you all very soon good luck and happy crocheting bye everyone